to be feared at the Super Series. Andreas Harrison picking up the jackpot a couple of weeks ago. And we begin the hurly-burly all over again. Monday morning, half past nine, Series 8 gets underway. We're going to see a three-time former Lakeside champion in action in Martin Adams, a former Grand finalist, a man who came so close to picking up the title in Tom Sykes in there. Bradley Roos played at the previous Champions Week as well as a number of big names. They'll be hoping to make it through to the red carpet occasion the the here first. in Portsmouth. Game but on. the full focus is on Women's Week where we've reached the second half of our Friday night session. And it sees Lorraine Winstanley and Fallon Sherrick go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Winstanley winning her opening two matches of the night. Putting herself back in the equation, One, back in the mix. And kicking off this game with a max. And Fallon almost followed up. 40. Henry, you were itching to say it, weren't you? You were just itching. They're both on a nine. Is that your impression of me, Scott? Yes, it is. I'm off to go and sulk in a corner. I do so yeah, love working with you, H. I really do. I can tell. I might as well just leave. There's no coming back from that. I might as well just go home and never come back. 41. Oh, don't do that to me. It wouldn't be fair. Well, when Stanley has cut out the quicker of the two players, leaving herself on 140 after nine, would love to hit a ton here to leave herself on tops after 12. 60. Not able to do that, but has left herself on a two data. Forces the one, two, eight of Sherrick to go. Trouble 20 in the bullseye. Not to be. And so when Stanley should, at the very worst case scenario, get a dart at tops to take out leg one and it's under surmountable pressure. Sherrick has left tops after 12. 15 scored. Options here for Lorraine. 25 and 15 with the options. 15 leaves the ball. Doesn't go. And Sherrick comes Island back for tops of the break. 40. Yeah, great pressure added okay, by on the first Sherrick and Fallon 13 dart leg and a break of throw. Second leg, it's Fallon to throw for first. Fallon Sherrick. Game you have to say he's not a bad start. Both started this match like a racehorse. Well, it is the Epsom hey, Derby six. tomorrow. Who is going to cross the finishing line tomorrow night? Who is going to take the honours, take the spoils? We know five of the six players are going to be there. Lorraine Winstanley hoping to gate crash the party and be player number six through. Kersey Vinakine and currently occupies the final qualification spot. But Sherrick here averaging 114.79. And what could be the midway point of the match? And Stanley's actually playing the best dart she has done 60. all week, but Fallon's just finding gears. Yeah, she very much is, and look at those two darts. They are not badly thrown at all. 55. That's really unlucky from her. You say the same with Win Stanley's last visit where... She hit 55. 41. Facial expression there when she switched across to the 18s, which was the right move. But not quite executed. 100. Great last start. Particularly the way the first two are sat just below Dribble Bev, which meant she only really had a small portion towards the left-hand side to aim at. Managed to find it, leave herself on Shanghai. But One it's going to be put under big pressure. Treble. Single. For the double. Sherrick climbs the ladder. The and she moves into Fallen a 2-0 lead. Yeah, nice fist the bump. Plain rude to do that Game to on. your mate, though, isn't it? But what a, what a shot. Another ton plus finish for Sherrick. 
You can't talk about being rude to your mate after what you did to me in the last couple of legs. Oh, let it go, will you? That was Scott Mitchell who was talking there, just in case you didn't know. Well, this is some contest. The Wayne wins down with a couple of maxis, 99.7 average, valid share of coverage in. Just a shade in front of a ton. This is a superb contest. And for the Wayne wins Stanley, the difference between last night and tonight, well, it's been two completely different parallels. 78. Well, she mentioned in that interview with you earlier on this evening that she just felt a lot of things were different yesterday. Well, everything's changing, and Lorraine is seemingly hitting everything in sight. Well, she's just more relaxed. She's she's more used to the surroundings, and of course, she's playing a friend that she's played Fifth many enough. times, and she doesn't fear, you know. Fallon has thrown the kitchen sink at her, and Lorraine has not stopped scoring. Sixty. And we should mention as well, even if Lorraine loses this game, every leg could be pivotal in terms of the leg's difference. Lose to nil, and she puts herself in a bad position. That maximum is Fallon's first of the match, and applies will pressure on this 80. That's awkward, because that could have so easily deflected into the treble. It's a dart at top. Fallon didn't require 150. No, it didn't. Well, yeah. The way that Fallon's been, this will probably go. Here we go. It's double 15. Oh, whoa, whoa, sublime Fallon from Sheriff, who turns round. And I'm sure she muttered sorry there. Wow, wow, wow. 3 0. What more could Lorraine Wynn Stanley do in that situation? She's shaking her head, going, I gave it my all. Lorraine loses 3-0. Yes, she loses 3-0 with a 98-4-3. Fallon Sherrick resumes normal service with 104-8-6. What a game here in the ladies' week from these two ladies.